Hey guys, Michael here again. Let's talk about leveling up or basically adding gaming, uh, gaming element gamification to a badges program. Let's get that started. Look, the number one best thing about a gaming program is it is fun. Kids love and adults love to have fun. Everybody seems to like games. For some reason, our brains seem to be pre-wired to enjoy games, even if it means card games. But that's not what we're talking about. One of the uh, upsides of gaming, or one of the powerful components of gaming, is the ability to level up. And you can see here on this slide, we talk about that. And here I have four different levels. Level one, two, three, and four. Now the idea behind this badges program is that you make the badges more difficult to get as you go higher up the, the, higher up the, the ranks. So for example, everybody should be able to get the first badge. Set your badge up so 100% of the people can get it. Then your level two badge, set that up so let's say 85% of the people can get it. And that could be your standard. Your expectation is that you're trying to get everybody to get to the standard. So if you're in a standards-based school, that's where that part would come in. Then have the level three badge be, about, be obtainable for by about 40% of the people, and then have the level four badge be obtainable by about 15% of the people or so. And there's a big reason for this. It enables something called currency to be created. And you can see there I have some Monopoly money, and that's currency. So let's, let's talk about that for a minute. So if I have Monopoly money, and I go out and go shopping, and I hand that money over to somebody, they're just going to laugh at me, right? Because what is it? It's just a piece of paper. But wait a minute here. So if I pull out my wallet, and I have 100 RMB, which is worth about $15 in the U.S., bill... This is just a piece of paper. But if I hand this over to somebody to buy something here in China, it works, even though it's just a piece of paper. It's because this currency has value, it has faith behind it. Everybody has agreed that this piece of paper is actually worth something. And that's what you want to do with your badges. You want to make it seem like they are worth something. So that's where if somebody gets in the higher levels, level three or level four badge, everybody else is going to look and say, whoa, that is so awesome. And th that is hard to get. I want that too. And that will help to create currency. Let's do a case study here. We'll look at our organization at mine, Concordia. And this site, this is called the Concordia Community Site. And this is where we had people contribute stuff when they were taking the EdTech PD program. And if they just participated, did this, did that, they unlocked badges. And this was automated through WordPress, so it was pretty awesome. And then they would get these badges down here. And you can see them, Vanessa, Roger, or whatever. These are their Gravatars, by the way. If you don't know what a Gravatar is, check it out. G-R-A-V-A-T-A-R. -A -A it's pretty awesome. And you can see they unlocked various ones. This is you completed the full version of Introduction to WordPress, and that was unlocked by them. That was just automated. We also had codes and things like that for them to win awards. And then because of this, they ended up getting a badge for whatever they unlocked, whatever courses they completed. People seem to like it. Students like it even more. But let's take a look at the way we set it up for levels. So we have level one, two, three, and four here. And you can see the criteria. If they pass one course, two courses, three courses. Level four is that they designed a course. And our aim here was to get 100%, 85%, 40%, and figured 15% of the people who participate in our EdTech PD program will go on and design a course themselves. And it's been fairly close to this. Not too bad. You know, it's just a total estimate that we tried, and it seems like we stuck pretty well with it. Now let's do a case study in the classroom, right? Remember that was getting yourself organized as a student. And here's a more detailed one, and this one might be more appropriate for what your needs are. But if a student fills out his planner for two weeks, and I think everybody can do that, just two solid weeks, that they blow it in one day and the two weeks starts over, 100% achievable. Four weeks, 85%. Six weeks, 40%. Eight weeks, 15%. Uh, survived locker checks, and the homework turned in. So you can see how earning this badge over here, level four, is really difficult to get. And the other kids will go, whoa, you're awesome. And that creates currency. So go ahead and do your assignment. Think about that gamification, that badging element, that uh, currency element that you want to add to any badge program.